Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I've got another quick one for you. We're going to be looking at uh, changing the colour of a div when we scroll down a page. So as you can see at the moment, we have this header section up here with my name in. And when we scroll down, I want it to change colour to a white background. And I don't want to be seeing any of this text here. Uh, as you can see, we currently can see that it's transparent at the moment. So we're going to change that. We're going to do this using vanilla JavaScript. So just to quickly show you what I have to create this, we just have an index.html page, a style.css page, and an app.js page here. With my HTML page, uh, I'm basically just linking to the CSS up here, the CSS file. Uh, you can see we've got this header section here with my name in. This is what we're gonna be adjusting in this tutorial. And I've just got a few sections here just to allow us to scroll down. There's no content in there really. Okay, so to show you the styles as well, all we're really worried about for this video is the header section. You can see I've got the header uh, set to a position of fixed, so it doesn't move when we scroll. You can see it stays at the top of the page. Uh, we're starting it from the top left at 0, 0, so it starts at the very top left here. Uh, a width of 100%, so it fills the page horizontally, and with a height of 4M, which is this distance here. Um, I'm aligning text to centre, so my name shows up in the centre there. I've uh, got a padding as well, 1.5 rem, which just uh, it centers the text uh, vertically more as well. And I've also just placed a Z index so it shows in front of all the other uh, divs in the, HT in the HTML file. And when it's um, not active, so we've got a background of transparent with a border of a uh, one pixel solid black here. Uh, also, you can see underneath that I've got a header dot active. So in this tutorial, we're going to be applying an active class using JavaScript to this header. So when we scroll down, you can see all the settings here are the same. The only difference is we have a background of white. Okay, so now if I open up the JavaScript page, the first thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to uh, use JavaScript to select this header tag from the HTML file. So we'll do uh, const header equals document dot query selector and then we're gonna so in you'll see in the html file i've given this header tag a class of header as well so in this case we just say dot header okay now to get this scroll function working so we'll say window dot on scroll and then we'll say equals function And then the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to, we're going to use JavaScript to measure the distance from the top when we scroll, top of the uh, the window really. So when we scroll down, we want to measure in pixels how far we're scrolling. So let's do that. I'm going to set a new variable called top and that's going to equal window.scroll y on the y axis. And then for now, I'm just going to console log the scroll to show you what it does. So it's console log top. Now if I go back over here, I've saved that. Go to inspect. We open up the console. You should see when we scroll, we're getting the number of pixels we're scrolling down the screen. Okay, so that's great, that helps. So now what we're gonna do in order to change this, so we'll say we're gonna get our, we're gonna basically say, we're gonna create an if statement we're going to say if um, so the top is greater than or equal to 100 pixels we'll say header dot class list dot add and then we'll say um, active and then after that we'll just put an else um, header dot class list dot remove and then we'll say active as well okay so now let's try that you can see now so when we scroll down to 100 pixels our background changes for that header there okay so what we're saying is if the um, if we scroll 100 pixels from the top, we're going to uh, apply this active class uh, to the header 
which when we look at the CSS, it gives it a white background. When we scroll up to the top, it makes it transparent again. One thing I also like to do is just to make it look a bit more professional is if we do a transition at the bottom here. Um, spell that right, transition. And then we'll say all oh, 0.56, just to make the effect fade in. And I'll also apply this to the other header section up here. Okay, so now when we scroll down, you can see we just get a gradual fade in there. Okay, and obviously you can also, I mean, if you can leave it as long as you want really, we could adjust this to 50 so it changes quicker. And there you go. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys. Um, I think this is a really cool professional effect that I see on a lot of websites these days. So any questions, feel free to drop me a comment and I'll try my best to answer. But yeah, cheers guys, thanks, see you soon.